<laughs> moving, moving swiftly along. Patrick, please save us. Please inject some seriousness in our, in our, in our program, please. I do. Um, Taiwan will witness something few could have predicted later this month when 60 lesbian couples will take part in a mass wedding as a nudge to its government to legalize gay marriage. Success. Many more may join in on the day. Organizers say that around 1,000 tickets have been sold. Inspired by the recent legislation of gay marriage in New York, the event will hopefully win over the 25% of Taiwanese adults who, according to a survey, do not consider same-sex relationships to be acceptable. So many lesbians going public is certainly a step in the right direction, but what about the rest of the world? In India, where gay sex was decriminalized two years ago, more women seek help from the country's first lesbian support support group Sangini every year and last month a lesbian couple from the New Delhi area were granted 24 hour police protection following death threats the court recognized the women as married even though India does not recognize gay marriage things are also looking up in Israel the first conference of the Israeli Arab lesbians was held in 2007 then last year the nation's version of strictly come dancing teamed with the lesbian sports presenter with a straight professional dancer to become its first same-sex couple however persecution is still common this year 85 states signed the joint statement to the UN Human Rights Council recognizing human rights violations against lesbian gay bisexual and transgender people but only five were in Africa where some of the worst violations violations against lesbians occur. This December, Argentina's first gay and lesbian cruise leaves Buenos Aires and apparently demand is very high. Woohoo! I wouldn't mind uh, <coughs> booking uh, uh, two places on, on the cruise for my partner and me. Uh, thank you for in, in injecting some seriousness into our conversation. And those stories are thanks to the GCN, aren't they? Uh, uh, this one was taken from The Guardian today. The Guardian, very really mm -hmm. good. Uh, okay, folks. Um, so I'm not invited on the cruise. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Duncan. Days. You're a man. No, <laughs> and you're, you're I, I, they take it a heterosexual man. Uh, that well, it depends. De oh, it depends. We can play at it, though. Okay, it depends. <laughs> It, it all depends on whether you meet Mr. Wright, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As uh, David McSavage says, you know, who, who, he, he, he's saying that, who knows, maybe he is gay. And, and maybe it, it's only because he hasn't met Mr. Wright yet. Just yet. <laughs> and he's like, Mr. Wright, if you're out there, don't come find me. <laughs> Stay where you are. Can I be Mr. Wright for you? <laughs> <laughs> right. Folks, uh, we've come to the end of the show. So big thank you to uh, Deidre King, who, who produced the show today. And he did a great job, too. Thanks, Deidre. And also for uh, to Podrick Pendergast and uh, Anand sound we had alan regan great show guys and now we have the army of bandits who are going to play us out on the list yep. take it away <laughs> I could have been the dark inside I could have been the things that you painted You ain't heard to get it right It hurts the things that you told me I showed the way to the things that I've done I see this pain you're holding me there Cause I want some
way you gotta go Cause you're on You're on 